I went and bought over the counter medication. What kind of medication? Um, ointment, just for my fingers, and then just like Tylenol. Okay. And then I call them and they don't pick up. I try to reach them several different times, but they told me that they would not only not remove the finger, uh, the nails, because it was embedded into my skin in the picture that you saw, but also they Wait, wouldn't- Wait, they wouldn't, they wouldn't what? Remove the nails. I asked them if they can trim the nails, cut, cut them in any type of way so that- Okay, but now I'm lost. What process did you, first of all, the person who did her nails is not here, correct? That is correct. What, what did she have done? Because she's talking about removing nails, but I thought that you had told me that they just ended up doing- Polish The polish what? and then putting it under the UV ray. That's no. what I asked you. No, that's what they started and then eventually they put on- Acrylic a, nails? Yes. So you ended up with acrylic nails? Yes. So go on. And then I call them and see, because they overcharged me. They charged me $32 when originally on the advertisement, the whole point I went because it was $22. And then they tell me that, no, this is what I have to pay is $32. All right. Do you know who did her nails? Yes. Okay. Um, but you didn't bring a letter from that gentleman about what happened with the nails? Yes, we do have a letter. Okay. And what does that gentleman say? Give me anything you want me to see from many witnesses that were there yeah. at the time. So this one is from, does, does this individual speak English? No. Then why am I seeing a... Um, it was oh translated my. by his wife. By his wife? How do yes. I know she got it right? On March 8th, there was a lady customer who came to the natural beauty salon with her daughter requesting to have a manicure gel for her daughter, then changed her mind, requested to have fake nails done also. In the process of working on the fake nails, her pinky got a minor scratch. Is it your pinky? Yeah. Okay, got a minor scratch, so I immediately applied the solution. Did they do that? Did they put that little yes. stick um, to avoid infection, continue working on her nails? She was quite satisfied mm -hmm. and left. All right, mom, you wanna come on up and testify? You were with your daughter during this? She showed me her fingers. She said, oh my goodness, he cut a few of my fingers. And I see that she's bleeding. And- um, But you only took a picture of one cut? I have, a on my phone, a picture of a couple more fingers that were cut. Okay, let me see those pictures. I'd love to see those. So we're waiting for the pictures, and then um, I'm gonna need to understand, I understand the $32 part of your lawsuit. I'm not understanding the $9,900 part, so you're gonna need to explain it. Yeah, for pain and suffering, but also um, modeling casting jobs. I missed out on a lot of jobs because I was in pain trying to handle- You had a cut on your nail from a manicure. You know, hopefully it's only one out of 30, 40 times, but that happens and it's uncomfortable and you get mad and then you never go back to the salon yeah. when that happens, especially if they don't have the requisite remorse when it happens. But it, does, it sounds like this guy was like, oh, sorry, and put this, the thing on, the septic, the pencil on it. What's that pencil called? Antiseptic. Uh, yeah, certainly but not it's an antibacterial. Okay, but so um, yeah, it happens. It's not nice, and frankly, I think people shouldn't get charged if that happens. Yeah. I understand that, but what's $9,900 because you missed out on what modeling jobs? 